God, the end game is over. Now I can go back to the pre-game. <laughs> ah, sweet. Thank you. Hey, Lord. Oh. 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 What are you doing here? Oh, well. I have a mission. Yeah? What's that, Bug Man? Spider-Man. Yeah. Tony's dying words, he told me. It's your responsibility. It's up to you to get Thor back in shape because Thor is the strongest Avenger. If anything else happens to the world, he's the one protector to save them all. That was all bullshit, wasn't it? Well, yeah. The first exercise we're gonna be doing is Spider-Man crawls, or more commonly known as bear crawls. Really an excellent full body warm up, stressing the core, and it's gonna be supersetted with single arm KB swings. Hitting that posterior chain, the glutes, the hips, and also a little bit in the shoulder too. Let's get this started. Good. All right, here we go. First exercise, Spider-Man crawls. What we're gonna be doing is just gonna be getting up on your toes. Your knees are elevated just slightly above the ground and your shoulders are gonna be placed right above your hands. And you're gonna be slowly crawling here. It's the opposite leg to opposite arm. Just taking those really controlled crawl, really straight, rigid back. Just imagine if you have a cup of water on your back, you're trying to make it not spill. Once you reach the end, we're gonna do reverse. Just imagine like Spider-Man crawling up a building. Whew. Oh yeah, those are good. Do like in the old days where they just do it from the side so it makes it look like you're crawling up a wall instead of the ground. Oh yeah, crawling up a wall, Spider-Man. Yep. Okay, all right, now, super set right onto single arm KB swings. So you notice with this one, is you're bending forward, like bowing forward, almost like an RDL, slight bend in the knees, wide stance there, swinging the KB. Got a little bit right between the legs. Feel a nice stretch in the hamstrings and a good squeeze in the glutes as you extend in the hips and swing that kettlebell to kind of like a parallel position. You're gonna switch, go right into the next one. You can use this arm for balance. You can even do alternating if you want, back and forth. Make it a little bit more difficult. Takes you good. And that coordination. Okay. There we go. A little bit of break. And we're going to be doing it again. Two more sets, three sets total. Really good full body warm up. And we're on to the actual workout. It's going to be basically full body, a lot of pull ups. So, as you know, Spider Man. Gotta get those lats, gotta get those arms. So you can crawl buildings, swing building to building. Yeah! Fuck it. Now we got the full body warm up out of the way. We're gonna be going on to the workout itself. And the first exercise is gonna be push up to pull up. So this is gonna, another, gonna be another super set going from one exercise right into the next. And uh, here's how it's gonna look. In the push up position, push up. You're gonna jump into a squat kind of position, grab onto the pull up bar, and then pull up, back down, go back to the push up here. <sighs> There's a lot going on in this one. It feels like full body as well. You get in the chest, but jumping into position. Work a little bit of the abs, then going right in to the pull-up. You can be working a lot in the lats, but of course the secondary muscle groups, shoulders, triceps, biceps. It's definitely very winding, definitely very all-encompassing in a sense, just because you can feel that full body pump. It's a good one right here. Yeah. Next exercise is a very shoulder dominant exercise. It can be the handstand holds, 
with the shoulder tap. So we got a nice amount of contraction here. Um, and then it's making it a bit more difficult because we're gonna have to do is pick one hand off the floor, putting all the weight on one arm, tapping the shoulder and going back down and alternating between both arms there. So it's also gonna require a lot of core strength too because if you're loose in the core, you're gonna feel unstable. And uh, of course, you're gonna have to keep that nice locked out arm there to help stabilize and um, basically keep your whole body secure in that kind of position here. So we're gonna try this out. Oh yeah. Get into the handstand position. Nice wide. Just to balance yourself. Tap, tap. That's too difficult. You can just hold. Hold this position. You need to elevate your shoulders. Get little traps in there. Oh yeah. Uh, you can tell my face is probably getting close to as red as Spider-Man's mask. Because most of the blood is gonna rush your head, so you gotta control your breathing. Don't hold your breath. It's make you lightheaded, possibly even pass out. You don't wanna be doing that in a handstand position because that's not Thanos' finger snapping, that's your neck. So you gotta be careful on this one. But it's an excellent exercise for the shoulders and your core as well, just for that balance. Stabilization, it's great. Good. <laughs> On to more of an isolation exercise, and this one is really gonna be targeting the triceps. It's gonna be the praying mantis push-ups. Uh, it's pretty simple positioning, pretty much just starting out in a plank position. So, I mean, that nice plank position here, feet together, forearms on the floor, but you want your palms on the floor rather than just your wrist here. Um, so your palms are gonna be on the floor and then what you're gonna be doing is extending straight up and then slowly back down here. Extending up, working on a tricep, slowly bring yourself down here. <sighs> Keeping those elbows tight, try not to flare them too much. If you start flaring, it's gonna be turn a little bit more of a push up there. It's gonna be putting stress and strain on the shoulder and you can feel it in the chest and less in the triceps there. So if you keep those positioning of the elbows straight back, that's when you're gonna get the full benefit of this exercise. Really feel that tension in those triceps. It's a very good one. Now, this is a little too difficult because this is more of an advanced kind of movement there, um, especially if you're a bit heavier. Uh, what you can do is just stay on your knees and then you can do the exact same motion there so less weight is going to be on the exercise. You're still going to be performing it correctly. Get that nice tricep pump. Oh, yeah. yeah. So we hit the triceps, and now we're moving on to the biceps. And this one is going to be the inverted curls. So it's essentially like a barbell curl in a way. Um, but if you've ever done inverted rows, it's very similar to that, but different positioning of, a, of the body and the hands here. An inverted row. Of course, you're under the bar here. You can be rowing up to the sternum, but with the curls, what you can do is get a supinated grip, and you're gonna move your body forward slightly, so that way, when you flex in your elbows, you're curling your body up to the top position. You want your forehead to the bar there, and that's what's gonna be really hitting those biceps. Pretty simple one, but it's definitely very effective. Another isolation exercise targeting the biceps. Definitely get a good pull. Oh yeah. Okay, we are hitting the legs. We're gonna be pairing out two motions in this one. It's gonna be the RDLs, a Romanian deadlift, which is really focusing on that posterior chain there, the hamstrings, glutes, a little bit in the lower back there too for stabilization of the spine. And we're gonna be going right on to goblet squats. Um, one of our favorite leg exercises, and it's pretty much like your holding a goblet like this under your chin. But we're gonna switch up a little bit to make it easier for the motion. Hold the kettlebells by the horns, as they call it, the handle there. It makes it a bit easier for the different positioning here, as you'll see in a second. So the first one is gonna be the RDL, which let's get a pretty mid stance here, just about shoulder width, as you can tell it's a bit wider. And so you get this positioning, straight back, feel that nice stretch in the hamstrings as you lower down that bottom position. 
and you raise it up, extending the hips. You're gonna flip the kettlebell to this position here, goblet squat position. You're gonna squat straight down, really get that nice deep squat here, and then go back up, drop that kettlebell down, go right into RDL again. Alternating, alternating between the two. Really feel like good stretch in the legs. It's really good for mobility too, especially if you really try to get that deep squat coming all the way down in that position. So don't go too heavy on these. It's not really, weight's not obviously what you're going for in a workout like this. More about conditioning, a little bit less about strength. Of course, you will be gaining strength, of course, in these certain positionings that you do through your core, shoulders, stabilization, kind of movements and positions there. But as you can see, it's not about the weight necessarily, but it's just about your form, function, and just the consistency, of course, as you do workouts like these. So, one more exercise left. That's gonna be the planks. We're really leading that core. Yeah. So yes, we are onto planks, but we're making a little bit twist here as this is the Spider-Man workout. We're gonna be performing Spider-Man planks. And you're still in the plank position, but we're adding a little bit of twist to this here. Of course, an exercise like this is challenging the core. It's core strength, really. Of course, it's the abdominals, rectus abdominis. It's gonna be the transverse abdominis. It's gonna be the lower back, the rectus spinae muscles, and so on really just strengthening your overall um, stabilization in your whole body really. So that's why core strength is very key. And this exercise in particular really tests that. So here we go. Plank position, what you're doing, bringing one knee up to your elbow back. You alternate between the two. Or you come under like this, but in that case, you have to get in this position here. You can bring the opposite knee to the opposite elbow. So there's kind of a little bit of variation there, but in this case, we're doing this one. Ooh, which you really feel on those obliques. Nice, so there you go. That is the Spider-Man workout. Feeling pretty damn good. A bit winded, a little bit fatigued, but you know what? That's what it's all about. It's all about pushing yourself, becoming that superhero. It's not easy being a superhero. I mean, ask Thor. Mr. Thor? Mr. Thor? Wow, that workout must have really hit him hard. I'm proud of you, buddy. Keep this up, and you're gonna get back in shape in no time. <laughs> <laughs>